Um, Dr. Uh, Ambrosini is here to accept our memorandum and we are so grateful. Humanity, then we will not have the moral strength to deal with any other issue, whether there are social issues, whether it's education, crime. It really starts with the level of civility of a society. And when we deal with canned hunting, we, we get as low as we get down to incivility, barbarianism, and the wars what is in man. It is a privilege for me to accept this petition on behalf of my leader, Prince Mangosuto Butalesi, who was the first one in the 70s to promote the cause of nature conservation at a time when people were concerned about trees and animals were looked upon as they were a little crazy, three huggers. I was the first chairman of the Rhino Foundation, and he was the champion of nature converse. We are talking about saving ourselves. Yeah. It is really an SOS, save our souls, because we lose our soul, we lose our humanity, we lose all that from which the moral strength can emerge when we allow practices like these for no other reason than the pervert, cynical pleasure of a, of a few rich, despicable individuals. There is no other, there is no other way. There are many battles in this country which we need to engage with and we're not, we're not going to be able to fight them and win them right away. This is one that we can and we must win. This is one that we should be able, with the support of the minister, with the support of the government and the unity of parliament, we should be able to tell, we put our, should be able to put our bell as one of those battles we won. And in so winning it, we can raise the floor of civility of this country across the board, not only for this, but for all the other issues on which we will need to come together as a country, united once more after elections, to deal with what matters in unity and recognizing that if we abdicate from all that which is good and civil on a single issue, none of the others can be taken care of. So I really thank you for even making the effort. It's your vigilance. It's your commitment. It's your willingness to take to the streets. It's your willingness to roar that makes things happen. I, eh, I'm an adopted son of South Africa. We squeak where we should roar. And I think what we learned today and from the success that must follow from a demonstration like today, we must learn how to roar, because this is what democracy is all about, making your voice, making our voice heard, and demand that it be heard. And I really thank you for having made that effort, and I plead with you to continue to make efforts of this nature, not to let the frontiers of freedom and democracy roll back, because without your commitment, without our commitment, those frontiers will roll back. <laughs>